Every year, the Kremlin donates tens of millions of dollars to the International Civil Defense Organization, or ICDO, an intergovernmental organization that Russia uses to distribute aid and provide humanitarian assistance around the world. ICDO doesn't work in the field, so it uses an agency called EMERCOM to do the work. EMERCOM is like Russia's state version of the Red Cross. From 2001 to 2012, Oleg Blavintsev, a Kremlin insider, was director of EMERCOM. He left to become the Kremlin's man in Crimea, the recently annexed area of Ukraine that Russia coveted for so long. When a disaster happens, EMERCOM hires companies to do a lot of its work in the field. But what's interesting is that it often uses little-known third-party companies. For example, in 2012, the ICDO agreed to clean up landmines in Serbia. Emercom managed the project, but it contracted much of the work to a company called Emercom Demining. Emercom Demining is owned by a Russian company called Zerobezte Komproyekt, or ZTPP. ZTPP, as it turns out, is majority owned by Mr. Balavinsev. That means Balavinsev used state funds he was in charge of to hire himself. Then there is a case in Nicaragua. The Russian government gave ICDO almost $27 million to supply equipment and field hospitals to the Central American country. This time, another privately held company named Firefighting Special Technics got the contract. That company, too, is owned by ZTPP and Belovensiv. But this isn't happening just internationally. The same pattern can be found inside Russia. In 2009, for example, the Russian Ministry of the Emergency, which runs Emercom, ordered 24 firefighting vehicles for the Russian state. The same company, Firefighting Special Technics, won a hefty no-bid contract for the trucks. And last year, while the civil war raged in the Donbass region of eastern Ukraine, Emercom gave another no-bid contract to PO Mobile Systems to deliver emergency grain to the embroiled territory. You guessed it, Bolovensev is also behind PO Mobile Systems. Actually, this time, it's his daughter. Seems like the new head of the Crimea has a good trick for making a lot of money from emergencies. And Russian taxpayers? They lose twice.